Hey, so our set looks really different today because we've just finished our BAM Squad Christmas party for 2022. It's been an absolutely insane year. The stuff that has happened uh, with our BAM Squad members has been just crazy. And so if you want to take a look and see what we've been up to, get a behind-the-scenes look at the party, uh, then I've included this video for you here. We're not going to keep it up forever, so take a look now. You're going to see, uh, you're going to meet members from all over the world. We've got uh, members in 25 different countries with music schools from zero to to uh, you know, four thousand. You're going to meet people that in one year have. Uh, they talk about how they've more than doubled their income. You're going to meet uh, people that have gone from zero students to over a hundred, getting their own commercial space, growing a team. Uh, what else? Man, just the stories are insane. There's people that have passed the 500, 1,000 student mark. Uh, man, what an adventure. There's lots of cool prizes and giveaways and video clips and behind-the-scenes fun. So check it out. And, of course, if you would like to come and join the BAM squad, uh, then I'll put a link down below. Come come and join us free for seven days. Check it out. See if you want to stick around and make uh, 2023 your best year ever. So enjoy the party, and I hope uh, that you and your loved ones have a wonderful Christmas and holiday season. It is so good to see you all. What an amazing year we've had. We've got an amazing party lined up. It's going to be fun. A couple of things you need to know for the Christmas party. I'll start now. You can uh, fill in some other things. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're commenting the whole time. Yes. Tag people. Let us know that you're here, whether you're watching the replay or uh, you are here live with us. Hopefully some of you are able to join us live from all around the world. Um, we're gonna have we're gonna have awards. We're gonna have prizes. We're gonna have spot prizes. We're gonna go crazy today. It's very cool. We've got some uh, incredible awards because it's been a massive year. Mm -hmm. There's over 300 people in the BAM squad. We aren't able to give out 300 awards because we don't want you to have to spend four days <laughs> um, at the Christmas party. But there's some amazing awards to give out, and so you might be getting one. We also have a very big award right at the end for the BAM squatter of the year. Yeah, I'm excited about this one. It is going to be amazing, but I'm equally excited about a wee competition that we will be hosting live in this party today, and that is the Christmas Sweater of the Year Award. Now, Johnny might be in the running, but we'll see. I think we just give me the prize right away. Um, we've got lots of spot prizes as well. So let's let's kick off with the first spot prize. So this is for you to uh, engage and interact. And the first question uh, for you, if you're watching, is uh, what was the name of your first band? Now, some of us have some embarrassing band names <laughs> from our first bands. Speaking of embarrassing, Johnny, what was the name of your <laughs> first band? My first band was a really cool punk rock band when I was about 16. And it was called Pumpkin Pie, not Pumpkin Pie, Pumpkin Pie. And we were awesome. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure you were. I'm sure you were. The interesting thing about that is that um that we see that name, that band name, still reflected in little areas of Johnny's life <laughs> even today. So um we still you know, who's held tight to that favorite band name. It's a good solid band. Um <laughs> So if you have a first band name, share it down below and Mel's going to be picking a uh, spot prize. Um, I just want to butt in and say it's really exciting. Johnny, we've got people here with us. Um, the one oh, and only Michael amazing. Hemsworth is here. I called um, Michael the other day. Where's he is the man. Oh, your wife is here. That's exciting. Oh, good. Um, Lisa Harper, Dirk, Laurie. Um, one of those people is getting a prize. It could have been you if you were in that run of people. Stick around. Yeah, so let's hear, let's hear, um, oh, Michael Hemsworth has never had a first band. He's a classical kid. Oh. It's all right, we won't hold it against you, Michael. Surely someone's got um, got some funny band names. Um, Dirk, the Undiscovered. Oh, very cool. Very mystical. What else we got? We got um, Berg, Bergu from yeah, Melissa Wright. Hmm. Good. Um, uh, Melissa, could you let us know what is, in fact, a burgoo? Could you have a guess of what a burgoo is? And is it is it a gooey burger? I'm, I'm not sure. What have you got? Um, like is it like a a, a disease? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I've got a really strong case of burgoo. <laughs> oh, Lisa Harper never been in a band. Okay. Oh, so Lisa. The next BAMCON, not this BAMCON coming up, but BAMCON 2.0 2023 winter edition. I'm trying to sell Johnny. Um, we're all coming and and you guys are forming bands so that you kids that have missed out on your first band, you're gonna you're gonna get the experience. You get to name your own first band. I love what my wife Kate has put band team A. 
what what is that case did you take a band class at good time <laughs> yeah so there we go band a that's a great name really original all right so um keep those band names coming in if you're just tuning we're in we're going to keep an eye on the comments we're going to be we're going to be checking in and very soon we will announce the best band name of the bam squad yeah it's coming up now talk to us about the spot prizes because we got um well all the prizes well, all the prizes so um we have we have stolen johnny's dog's Christmas stocking. Yes, that's right. Johnny's dogs do have a Christmas stocking. There will be gifts they're, from they're here on so, the set. Yeah. Just so, chilling. You know, this is it. And we've filled it with baubles. Now, if you were here last year, you might know what's going on, but each of these baubles, I'll just have a fish around, has a prize. Oh, can you see? Ooh, oh, it's two, two sparkly. This one, $150. So all of the baubles have different values and as we have prizes to give away. Johnny or I will be fishing around in Alto's Christmas stocking and finding you an amazing prize. So if you've got the best band name, comment down below. What was your first band name? And uh, oh, soon we'll do a draw. Melissa wants to see the dogs. It's coming up. Okay, Don't well, worry. Oh, well, let's do a little um, welcome to the team over here. They're going to give us a big cheer. We'll just move <laughs> the camera. So this is behind the scenes of behind the scenes. Hey guys, oh. hey. so here's, here's a little bit of a snapshot of the um, BAM Squad office here. So we've got uh, Dog One in, in the cone of shame cone right of now. Shame. This is Zildjian and then Alto at the back. So Zildjian's about 12 years old and Alto is one year old and um, they are a lot of fun. So musical names for musical dogs. <laughs> Okay, um, what do we need to do next? I reckon we need to talk about... We'll come Emily, back. I'm here for the dogs as well. It's the only reason I come to work each day. Emily is amazing. She um, she does all sorts of incredible stuff helping dogs out, and she's she had some really big dogs. I'm not sure if they're still with us, Emily, but they're, they're pretty oh, cool. Burgoo is a soup. That's a soup. So oh. I was the closest. Johnny was a mile off. Okay, so not a disease. Not Good. a disease. Good. Uh, Johnny Hayes, three amp fuse. Nice. Definitely sounds like a teenager came up with that name yeah. any other goodies um, uh wipeout fusion wipeout or fusion. jesse he's mm -hmm. up in auckland love it the man uh oh there's some good ones there we, we need to keep the show moving so we'll uh, we'll come up with a winner uh very soon yeah, we're gonna but, leave it in the dog's capable pause to come up with a winner yeah so we're gonna we're gonna move on and um we've got a video coming up about some 2022 highlights so we uh got a whole bunch of bam squad members to film a bunch of videos with a whole bunch of questions and man they're super inspiring you're gonna love it we've got uh, uh, about three four videos for you today so you get to see all your bam squad buddies uh, mel when you think back uh to uh january 1st and the whole year up to now what's a big bam squad highlight for you um i think it will come as no surprise when i say it is the um the bam squad wins each month oh, yes. um i love i love that everyone is so generous with cheering i love that everyone is so um encouraging and and um motivating and helpful and you know and I've said it time and time again but when you guys share those wins we just feel so amazing as well we're there with you we're mm. celebrating we're cheering we share them in our weekly meetings mm. like they mean just as much to us as they they mean to you hopefully mm. um so we're there for it and that's why I love this Christmas party as well because those videos that you guys share that that's those wins just amplified tenfold it's amazing so good mm. what yeah. about you Johnny what do you got what's the win? Um, what's your big win Mine is one of my favorite things I see. I've always had a passion for like um, all the businesses that I run is about like be bringing people together and making friends and doing cool things like we're doing a cool thing now, bringing people together. And one of my absolute favorite things in the BAM squad, even though I'm jealous, I don't get to take part is all the BAM squad people that have made friends and they end up meeting up and hanging out. So um, we get super jealous because we want to be hanging out with you. Isn't yeah. It? So we've seen, um, yeah, like people like Nick Tucker and Laura meeting up mm -hmm. over in California. We've seen um, Darwin um, meeting up with other people uh, yeah. multiple times. Yeah, you're um, a legend, Darwin, because you do. You really, you know, you yeah. go out of your way to seek out other BAM squad members and visit. Very cool. Yeah, and there's even a mention of someone else that's that's doing that. Uh, one of our um, members is doing a meetup and like a weekend mastermind. So that, that stuff is really cool. So, um, yeah, making friends all over the world it's very cool so hopefully you guys uh, feel like you've got 
we got about 300 and something BAM Squad members across 25 countries. So whenever you want to go stay somewhere, check in with us. <laughs> we'll see if we can get you, a, we'll get you out. We'll yeah. let you out. Yep, free accommodation. We'll we'll set up a business for that. We can probably clip the ticket 20%, you know, <laughs> BAM Squad Airbnb. No, um, we're going to throw to a video yeah, we now. I don't know what your highlight of 2022 was. Yeah, so um, we're going to play a video which is going to show you uh, – a bunch of your guys highlights so uh hopefully this will all work very easily yeah, while johnny's doing that if you could chuck into the comments some of your favorite christmas traditions where you are i'd love to hear about that while johnny is mucking around making life happen sounds good okay well let's see if we can get this uh video to play and here comes some of your highlights Woo! I think the number one thing I'm most proud of uh, for us in our music school this year has got to be switching out of a hub and spoke model where everybody comes to me into me a more decentralized model where we have managers and all that sort of stuff. So we have like a private music lesson manager, we have a group music lesson manager, we have a front office manager, and uh, we have a dance manager, which is probably the second thing that I'm most proud of is launching a uh, brand new dance program this year uh, and really being able to reach more kids in the community. Something I'm proud of this year is getting more systematized in my business and enough that I was able to hire a VA and document processes even more. In 2022, I am really proud of growing our team and keeping things going and getting back to normal and blowing up our performances. Hey, how's it going, Johnny and the team? Um, yeah, something I'm super proud of this year is, is all the growth. We've, um, you know, we've, we've grown in our team, um, you know, in our, we're in our 12th year now of Rock 101, and now we're seeing some of our students that have graduated and are becoming instructors themselves, which has been awesome. Growth in the number of students that we get to teach. Uh, this summer we had our, our biggest summer yet with over 250 kids signing up for our summer camps. Uh, we were able to keep those numbers consistently throughout the year as well. And then growth in, yeah, all the offerings with Rock 101. This this year we started a new, uh, we call it the Freebirds program, our four to six year olds, uh, group lessons, as well as uh, the Rock 101 Band League, which is that deeper dive for those young professional musicians that want to know what it's like to play in a band and, and play live. We have, actually have our big show this coming Sunday at the historic Lobo Theater, one of our really cool venues here in town. So very excited for all that stuff. Well, one of the things that I'm really proud of this year about our music studio is that we have gone from having two teachers last December to having teachers now and we have really worked on improving our hiring process and our teacher training and being able to um, to to onboard teachers and um, so I'm really proud of that that now that we have have had more teachers we've been able to have more students hey BAM squad Chris Griffin here from Jam Academy Music School uh, just outside of Seattle Washington things that I'm proud of for 2022 are a couple things one is we caught up almost all of our grandfathered students so they caught up to, to new tuition and uh, did a pretty big tuition raise and looks like we're on target to do $500,000 this year, so super awesome, uh, lots of firsts. The thing I'm proudest of is uh, getting through COVID and the lockdowns and coming out stronger on the other side. It was uh, quite the challenge and uh, my team and I really had to work very hard through, but we uh, we learned a lot, grew a lot, um, hurt a lot, but uh, have come through it uh, stronger and uh, better as a result. I was able to host an in-person recital uh, right after the COVID restrictions lifted. Uh, my students has more than doubled and that was by referrals from family and friends and I was really happy with that and that got me to continue teaching up till now. Um, a lot of people including my family doubted that it would work. Um, they thought it would be a waste of time, but I am glad I can prove them wrong. One thing I'm really proud of this year is the growth we've had in our school. Um, one measure of that is the revenue, and our revenue has increased to two and a half times what it was the previous year. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ayman Tunsi, 
the founder of the Maestro Music School in Tunisia, Sfax. Uh, so the main thing that I am proud of this year uh, was especially uh, reaching the milestone of 100 students. Um, that's a great thing and that's a thing that I am very proud of. Also, uh, another thing that we, uh, we made a uh, huge looking in our school this year, especially in the reception room, um, and that was awesome too. We doubled our bands, so we went from like two bands last year to like six or eight bands now. More than double, I guess, but so that was fun. And then our performance was really well attended. We packed it out, we sold out, and then we had um, people that couldn't even get in because uh, yeah, they didn't buy tickets ahead of time, so it was uh, very well attended, which was fun. Enrolling uh, 49 students this September, that was our best month for registrations. Hey BAM squad, here's my video response. Uh, this year I'm super proud of a few things. Uh, the first thing is getting back to our pre-COVID student numbers and surpassing it. Um, so we've, we've topped that number now, we're back to where we were, so that's good. Uh, second thing is we did our first um, show with our students. So we had 15 of our students do a performance, which was awesome. Uh, and then the third thing is we launched our online store. So we've got that live now as well. So three things, super proud. Hope you've all smashed it this year as well. Well, since we opened in 2021, um, this year has been our biggest year of growth, obviously. I was able to hire an admin near the end of the year, thanks to Johnny's suggestion. And um, she's finishing up training, we, everything's going great, but I really feel like the growth that we had in 2022 will be a springboard to help us go to take my business to the next level for 2023. Honestly, the thing that I'm most proud of for 2022 is not giving up. There was a point that I felt extremely overwhelmed and I really thought that I couldn't do this anymore. But here I am, we are at the end of 2022 and uh, raising prices, adding more things to our students, for our students and, and BAM Squad, part of BAM Squad. What we're super proud of this year is hiring a manager to run the day-to-day -day at our music school. And she also has an assistant and I am finally behind the scenes and I'm working primarily remotely. We're traveling school, so we are always remote, but now there's someone always there um, running the day-to-day. -day, so that's what we're really proud of. Hi guys, so glad to be a part of the BAM squad. Um, this year has been great. So one of the many milestones we've done is we introduced seven new programs this year, not to mention opening up in January after being under construction for a year. Um, I had to write them down. We added intro to music class, private drums, private violin, group ukulele, group voice, which we're calling Glee, and our toddler program, Little Rockers. And we're also excited to say that our Kids Night Out doubled in enrollment this year. So that was a lot of fun, a lot of loud fun. Merry Christmas, BAM Squad. Um, Johnny asked us to comb our hair and I decided to put this bad boy on instead. But there are so many things I'm proud of. It's tough to narrow it down. I think looking back over the year, I'm just really proud and grateful for my, my team. Um, I've stepped a lot. I've stepped away a lot this, this past year and working from home a lot more and um, getting into some other ventures and you know, growing that team leading up to this year was, was a really important part of that process and allowing me to step away. And they went through a lot of adversity this year with teachers moving away. Three of our top teachers that were full-time teaching six days a week with like 70 students each on their schedules all moved away. And it was a really scary moment. Uh, we had a lot of uh, change within our admin team and my office manager and all of our, our staff just handled it with such grace and kept kept calm and collected and was able to not only get through it but really bring in even um you know just not better but just filling those roles with amazing mentors and amazing teachers and allowing us to continue to scale through such a, a scary and potentially really scary situation that could have you know hurt the company and they were able to 
kind of get through that. So just seeing them stand, you know, with their head held high through that whole process really was a, a very proud moment for me and, and the music school. Hey, Colin here. Um, the thing I'm really proud of uh, on, the, on the last year with our music school is that when COVID hit, we lost uh, in those two years about 70 percent, 70, 70 uh, percent of our uh, students. Uh, but we now in the last uh, five months got like so much back. Uh, that's really, really great. I'm very happy that uh, we are back uh, in, in business and uh, doing things uh, the right way. Hi everyone. Uh, something that I'm really proud of this year is something that's not to do with my school as a whole, but it's to actually do with a student and it's happened quite recently. So a student that I've had from complete beginner, never picked up a pair of drumsticks before in his life, never sat behind a drum kit, has been with me for a long time and he's just gone and got a merit in his grade eight. Um, so as we all know, you know, that it's not often that students will stick with you for that long. But this guy's been with me for years and years and years, worked so hard and from complete beginner to just past his grade eight last week, actually. Um, so I, I guess I'm proud. I'm, I'm proud of him. I'm proud of my student, but I'm proud of the fact that he w was excited enough by his by his drum lessons um, to to want to come along for that long and put that much effort and dedication in. So yeah, there's there, there's something I'm proud of that's happened recently. Hi, Bam Squad. It's Jared from Rockdale Music, and I'm most proud of stepping away from uh, daily teaching and having a regular weekly teaching schedule and uh, all pretty much only being an emergency substitute teacher at this point. So I'm really stoked about being able to focus on the whole business. What I am most proud of 2022 is the amount of community that we generated, both with the adults and the kids. I am super proud of starting our Making a Difference initiative, which is our social impact project. And being able to do that with Marco of the Berlin Drum Experience, who's also in Bam Sport, has been absolutely amazing. And yeah, that's what I'm most proud of this year. I'm really proud of um, the number of scholarships that we were able to um, present to students and students that wouldn't have had the opportunity otherwise to come and um, join us and, and learn about music. Really, really proud of the team for the effort that they went to to make that happen. That was an absolute one in my book. Um, I am really proud of the fact that I've been able to stay cash flow positive this year. Previous years has been a big learning curve in finance, in the finance area. So I've been able to get a handle on a profit and loss statement and getting some software set up and my accountant on board so that I know where I am financially this year and I'm, I'm staying in the positive. So that's, that's been really good and I'm proud that I took the time to do that. Hi BAM Squad, this is Ruth Albright from Savannah Music Academy. I am thankful in 2022 for students who are becoming better and better at learning to play the piano. And not only for, for playing the piano, I have very supportive parents too. I knew it. I knew it was going to be incredible. And it was. And I, I'm... I've saved, I haven't watched the videos as they came in because I wanted the reaction mm. today to be genuine and to be watching as you guys are watching as well. And I mean, there's so many things I could comment on and I'm sure Johnny could too, but yeah. I think what really stood out for me is not only are you guys growing, not only are you guys, you know, sticking it out when it gets tough. I mean, 70% of your students, Colin, that's, mm. that's, I just can't even imagine, but the resilience that you've shown, the the attitude you, that you've shown, and amongst all of that, so many of you are finding ways to give back to your communities um, in incredible ways. Um, yeah, amazed, yeah. amazed, amazed. Yeah, it's so inspiring. And all the amazing comments as well. It's, um, yeah. Cool seeing how inspiring you guys are. And it's a good reminder that um, Building Music School and the BAM Squad is not just us mm -hmm. helping you guys. It's everyone helping everyone, and that's really special. So very very cool um we need to start giving yeah, out let's, prizes let's celebrate that amazingness by giving out some prizes so i think we're gonna we're gonna circle back to the best name um our support team have made a call johnny's gonna get the prize but the prize winner today is melissa with the acoustic burgoo which is in fact a soup not a disease what have we got? <laughs> all right i'm gonna dig deep on the christmas stocking and see what prize you are given and 
you have won a $75 Amazon voucher, Melissa. And Melissa, massive thank you to you. We're going to throw that one out now. Um, she has helped a whole lot of uh, whole lot of members out um, mm -hmm. by producing an incredible vocal resource in the library this year. Um, and uh, you need to go, go over to module four, the curriculum library, and check it out. She's done an incredible job with mm, um, really vo is yeah, incredible. Vo vocal curriculum that comes with workbooks, games. Um, what else has it got? It's got like QR codes, which go to video tutorials. It, it's awesome. Like you could just plug and play it into your school. So shout out to Melissa Wright. Um, not, not me, not me, no, no, the other Melissa. A better one, yeah. Um, <laughs> let's, let's, oh, let's. Okay. Get, Let's do some awards. Now we're going to try and uh, share the screen mm -hmm. and we are going to uh, do some of your awards yes. that you have yes. chosen, Melissa. Yeah. And we're going to get rid of that. Not, not you, Melissa. Me, Melissa. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. So too, too many are we there? Um, we're here and we're going to, we're going to full screen this shiz. So there I've got go. um, three awards today um, and we're going to kick off with Mal's Marvelous Mastermind Member Award. Say that 10 times fast. I dare you. Um, <laughs> if you're, I'm just going to start by saying, if you're not in a mastermind, why not? You are missing out. Masterminds, amazing, but not as amazing as this wonderful individual. Um, are we going to share it first and then let me talk about them? Um, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, this we, is who you chose. Who I chose. Jamie Watkins. Now, Jamie is a fairly new BAM Squad member, quite new to um, also her mastermind. Um, and I need to make a special mention at this point of the incredible Phil Stormer, who has um, been a facilitator of Jamie's group for some time. Um, he is an in incredible man he's been an incredible facilitator mm. and he has taken some time um to spend with his babies and looking after his 11 yes that is right 11 locations um but jamie despite being new and um a new to mastermind has really stepped up she's um volunteered and taken over the role of facilitator in that group um so i am very grateful for that and i know her her group are as well so a massive thank you to you for being a marvelous mastermind member thank you so good and give every, the lady a prize every person you mention I'm, i've got like seven stories i want to talk about for phil and jamie i've met with them both we many can't times be this here year. For four days, no so we've got to keep the stories to remember didn't bring a sleeping bag and a toothbrush for this kind of length of an event how would oh, check out that bauble oh, how would you write on this that's the same number i'm gonna i want to find a different number now in here there's there's all different numbers and there's yeah, i think the, the lovely cara has has divvied up the prize pool today written on all of these incredible baubles too bad. and and now we're giving considerable digging around in, in the stocking to make this amazing for you I've so got, what do we got Come so, on. so any of these prizes from 75 50 all the way up to 250 yes, is that right yeah right. so let's see who's going to get the 250 today uh this one where is it oh it's another 75 dollar amazon voucher <laughs> so i throw that away after the party um literally he's just throwing them around the room there's going to be yeah. glitter and and bits everywhere the, dog, um, the dogs will get it let's <laughs> After today's um, party, I will be um, sending out all of those online vouchers to well, you as well. One, that's us. That's us. That's us. That's um, us. You need to do another couple of awards. Yes. We're going to keep it yep. moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Where's our, where's um, our screen? Uh, is, 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 is that, that one? Is that, that one? Press no, the right button. It's not, oh, that's the one. We do that. There we go. Flipping <laughs> rookies. Here we go. Okay. Oh, Take it away. Mastermind facilita facilitator extraordinaire. Um, this one goes to a another feeling newbie. Um, this person um, jumped on board and started a new mastermind probably about midway through the year. Um, it hasn't always been plain sailing, but she's stuck at it. She's worked with me um, to, to work through any of the glitches. Um, this person is an amazing facilitator, really switched on. We've had, um, as you watch the videos, you'll, you will hear her name um, coming up. And this award today goes to the very wonderful Annie. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for what you do to your for your group um and just thank you for being amazing so she's amazing in australia it's yes in australia super cool um, super driven amazing singer and piano player mm -hmm. there she there is, she is. Yeah. 
Very cool. All right, let's let's draw another prize. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Um, shake, one, shake, 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 shake. You take one. Here we go. Any? Six, eight, six, eight. Oh, oh, oh. What do we got? What do we got? It's the number of the day. Seventy-five. Cara, are they all seventy-five? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell us, Cara? <laughs> Very cool. Uh, you, you hey, last one. Last you got one. one more. Here we yes. go. Um, this one and Ooh, all right. Next, sorry. next prize. Um, this award is called the Heart and Helper Award. Um, this one's very special. Um, well, I think it's very special. I think this person is very special. Um, I, for the most part, am the member of the team that's mostly responsible for getting um and responding to all our emails and so as you can imagine with over 300 members and lots of inquiries there are always lots of emails um that they're all great don't get me wrong but this person honestly sends the most joyful emails that i ever receive um no matter what kind of day i'm having these emails are always so full of positivity um, they're so caring, they're so thoughtful, and they always, without a doubt, make me smile. So this award today is going to Michelle Burke. Oh, you, good choice. You are an incredible BAM Squad member. Um, I, you are also mm -hmm. a BAM Squad mastermind facilitator. I see you in our Facebook group. So I know that you are not just bringing um, your heart and your helping qualities to myself, but you are spreading that throughout the BAM Squad as well. Mm. So thank you for being you. And Michelle's super inspiring on a personal level too. She's got elderly parents that she looks after. She's got a studio where she's running a team and she's um, revamping her business in a new way and doing all sorts of incredible things. So just all around inspiring human being. Yes. That is Amazing to have in the BAM squad. All right, let's give her a present. Uh, and let's hope it's will it be $75? <laughs> oh, I'm going to go for this one. Some right down on the toes. <laughs> Cara, tell the truth. <laughs> Cara, I think she's just um, 75 pocketed some of the yeah. money for herself. And Cara's, um... Cara's got the, the big prizes in her own pocket. We'll talk to her about it after the party, but 75 for you, Michelle. Woohoo. All right. Okay. Um, let me stop the screen share. Oh, because we have, oh, there's Michelle there. Yeah, I forgot to show her beautiful face. There she is. What a great human. It's time for another spot prize. So um, this is a fun one I'm looking forward to. Now, before I share the spot prize, just a uh, reminder that uh, when you're tagging, uh, when you're commenting down below and giving people shout outs, keep that up. Make sure you tag them so that they get, yeah. um, they get tagged and drawn into the conversation uh, so they can get involved. Um, Here's the next spot prize, okay? So thinking across 2022, what was an amazing book, podcast, or a YouTube channel, or something like that, a course that you have taken or read or been inspired by? It's kind of like a new favorite for you, mm -hmm. okay? Do you do you listen to any books or podcasts, or do you just listen to more of them as it... Um... The I, I'm getting the feeling that this is the roast Mel party and I'm, I'm not here for it um I, I'm not a big podcast person no um I am currently reading though I, I, um for those of you that are coming to BAMCON I'm just going to keep plugging it yep. um you will get Even a taste. It's sold out uh, yeah it's sold out um but some of you will get a real taste for our um our Maori culture and I am reading this incredible book called Tikanga which is a Maori word um about that about that Maori history at the moment so that's kind of my my learning journey that I'm on staying educated cool yeah. well you yeah. can use that for bamcon to run uh all our cultural yeah. experiences yeah yeah teach everyone a hacker is that what's part your, of it yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, what's just one johnny because i know there'll be hundreds but what's your um, one best one for this year okay my new favorite podcast which um is probably is called my first million and it's two tech guys that have sold um technology businesses and they they run this amazing podcast where they just get on and they just seem to just read such incredible things and know incredible people and have all sorts of stories uh, with amazing guests and uh, it's super inspiring. It's just a whole world that I've never uh, worked in. But um, yeah, so My First Million podcast, that's a great one. Very inspiring. Um, Lisa Harper knows it. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to say, um, you know, we're clearly an incredibly good company here because um, 
this this particular spot prize is going off people are listening oh, good. to all sorts of things digging the seven figure music school podcast integrated music teaching um you'll have to go back through the comments guys and pick some of these up because if you're not you're not already actioning some of these you need to and comment if you're watching the replay as well yeah absolutely um Michael Hemsworth this man I know is is all over his good books and podcasts and things so if he is um recommending 15 commitments of conscious leadership then I know that that one is going to be incredible very cool oh this oh man I'm totally going to come back and read this later very, Johnny's just cool. I know what's going on here Johnny's just set up his summer reading program yeah yeah yeah, yeah you could um, have just asked I gotta I gotta stay ahead of the BAM squad you know they're too smart um so uh we'll circle back yeah, we'll and our, back our back. support team will will come up with the winner for that prize but we'll keep we'll keep moving yeah we've got another video coming up and this is all about what was your biggest lesson of 2022 so we asked you guys what was your biggest lesson I always love this because this is literally this is the gold this is gold because yeah. imagine like if you were just uh, on your own running your music school like we were you know mm. we, we weren't friends with any competitors because we don't want them stealing our ideas loaders. um so we had to John figure it all <laughs> come on <laughs> um i had friend i had a friend um and uh <laughs> great burn great burn i paid 60 people to be my friend every day <laughs> um, at work no if you have if you have one person and you're just learning the hard way yeah you get all you know one big lesson a year or you know five a year or something but imagine you're in the bam's got 300 people and they all have five big lessons you know things that went well things that went really bad personal things and so that's like 1500 lessons compared to five exponential lesson growth amazing yeah so uh here comes the video we're going to share and this is going to be very very cool yeah let us know if you've um if you've like resonating with any of these lessons as well as is it they're going through yeah want to hear from you tag people and whatnot um let them know that it helped you okay here we go a big business lesson that i have learned in 2022 is a lesson that i have learned since i've become a bam squad member and that is how to put a big business lesson that I have learned in 2022 is a lesson that I have learned since I've become a BAM squad member, and that is how to put together small performing groups to go and perform throughout the community. And these groups also help with recruiting new students. It has to be groups, absolutely groups, completely transform the way we teach. Um, it increases engagement of our students and it created so much space for growth. And so I'm excited about um, the fact that we are now running groups and looking forward to welcoming a lot more children uh, into our studio because of the room we've been able to create in our schedules from running groups. So yeah, that's been huge for us. One thing I've learned is that it's okay to let people go who are not your client. And I've had to learn that through being challenged from people who say, they don't want to pay with card, they don't even want to pay with check, or they don't like my policies around, whatever it is. And that I'm okay with saying, hey, maybe we're not the school for you. And I recommend other schools for them. And that's not something that I've done before. And that was something that felt um, like I wanted to try to accommodate people as much as I could and try to get the student because I was trying to get as many people as I could. But now I'm enforcing my policies and if they don't want to accept it before they even started, then I'm okay with letting them go and I encourage them to go. And that's been a really big um, lesson this year and a new paradigm for myself. The biggest business lesson I've learned in 2022, and uh, I've known it from before, but um, turnover is costly. I lost a couple of, uh, a couple of teachers and yeah, it's, uh, it's taken some time to, to replace them with good people. So uh, that slows us down. Anyway, that's the lesson that I learned this year. A business lesson that I learned in 2022 is that expensive mistakes don't have to be your downfall. <laughs> I made a huge expensive mistake and invested in a, CR, uh, a CRM that was like way too much money, thousands of dollars. We used it for two months, but was the end of the world. We changed, we pivoted, and we figured out what will work better. So one lesson that I've learned this year 
is to not take it personally when students um, leave or stop and just to realize that that's part of it and unless they're going to go on and be a uh, life um go to college to study music they probably will stop some time and that it doesn't we just want to make sure it ends well we actually do do like um a little celebration and have a gift bag and have a little card that the teacher sign when somebody's going to be stopping lessons and just tell them that they're always welcome if they'd like to come back and just realize that as long as you're recruiting new students and having new students who are interested in our studio that it's okay if people leave and not to take it personally say my biggest lesson was uh learning to stick to fundamentals so uh, not chasing the shiny objects and the new things but uh, getting stuck into the basics and uh, discovering there's so much good stuff and important stuff and uh, powerful stuff you can do just with our core service and offering to deliver it better to our clients and our team just to be doing things better so leaning into the the basics and leaning into the foundations and not getting distracted with the shiny objects that's my lesson just managing money in general learn to not spend more than what you make that'll lead me to losing money every month recurring payments that uh, w would not be beneficial for my business not saying that it's that that bam squad is is the one but um yeah just other uh recurring stuff that is just n not uh not needed for me that put me so much in a tight spot that's something that uh that'll take time to fix i learned this year that it's really hard to find good admin staff um i think i have found someone who's gonna work out well um watch this space well the main lesson i've learned this year was that i cannot do everything on my own i need a team a very strong team around me so my teammates here are not just teammates they are my friends we are a family we uh, we have a strong team um, so that's it never work alone you need to have a very strong team around you to get your back maybe more money than I than I, you think you need you know like I think I need a certain amount or I'll be good, but um, having more than that is better for stress management. So. I feel like I've learned a lot of lessons this year um, from both the financial point of the business and also um, my management style. Um, there's there's probably quite a lot, but the, the biggest takeaway I feel is just how I am as a leader, how I delegate and how I listen and reflect and just to try and make things better that um, my team know exactly what I expect of them. Big business lesson that I've learned this year and uh, I'm constantly learning actually is that um, you have seasons of uh, being motivated and then seasons of not feeling as motivated and then linked with that as well is also the fact that um, things don't happen overnight like things that you want to implement and, and happen within your business doesn't happen just like that and I'm quite an impatient person so uh, I'm constantly learning that things take time we have to there's several steps for things to, to be put into place uh, and if it doesn't happen overnight you need to just be patient not get downhearted and just uh, keep plodding on and know that the motivation will, will refresh uh, sort of in peaks and troughs so it's not always up it's not always down it just it's a bit like that um, so yeah that's that's what I've learned this year I think one of the biggest things that I've learned and that I'm still continuing to digest and really try to implement um, is that my business really is a separate it's separate from me it is not me um, so I'm really trying to now take that and and build something that can continue on without me um, at some point. So I think that's the biggest thing that I've learned. Business lessons I've learned this year. The first one would be all about hiring and finding teachers. We were so lucky and took this for granted that in Toronto there were plenty of musicians who wanted to 
work with us and teach and use that as another source of income. So we had applicants all the time to choose from. And then after and during the pandemic, we, we that started to slow down. And, and this year primarily has been very tricky for that. So we're learning, we're still learning about this, but learning that the full application process, the whole experience working with us has to start there. And what we offer, it has to be better than the competition and um, really that was a huge lesson this year and still learning, I'd say. Another thing I think I've learned is to not always say yes, even when I really, really want to. Sometimes you need more time. Sometimes you need to gather more resources. Um, it's okay to say no. What I learned this year is that I can never have enough teachers that I need to always hire. And these are things that I've heard throughout the years, but this is the first year that I actually experienced not having enough and all at, one, all at once. So definitely a lesson. I would say I'm still learning, but definitely to always have more than enough teachers. A big business lesson that I learned this year or continuing to practice and learn this year has been delegation. Uh, there's so many responsibilities now with Rock 101 being in our 12th year that uh, I've been adding some administrative positions to take on some big responsibilities, things that I've been doing for years. The result has been these things have a new flair and a new energy to them. Uh, we have a curriculum director now. We have a, uh, an onboarding uh, you know, administrator, our, our community outreach coordinator. Um, everything that I was doing myself uh, has now been kind of parsed out and uh, it's been it's been awesome it's allowed me to um, to have my hands in other projects and to, to grow our school in ways that uh, were not possible when I was bogged down by the day-to-day -day tedious tasks so um, yeah excited to continue automation and in hiring positions to take responsibilities off my plate. I think the biggest lesson I learned in 2022 has got to be um, leading by numbers and leading by uh, specifically percentages. Uh, before we used to think through everything in a dollar amount. Uh, and now we have transitioned into thinking everything as a percentage. Um, and we're also doing a much better job of leading by the numbers because before what we would do is we would think through um, everything and make emotional decisions and go, well, I think this happens a lot. Where now we are, uh, we are running a data-driven company where we can see how well things are doing with cold, hard data and be able to then communicate that information to our team. The big thing I learned this year was to remain picky about hiring. Don't think that you're being too picky or unreasonable with the qualifications that you're looking for because as soon as you let one or two of those qualifications slip you usually end up hiring someone that is not going to work out long term so stick to your instincts and the qualifications that you really want change is always going to be be a part of running a business constantly whether it's teachers leaving admin leaving you know having to reinvent policies and grow there's always going to be change and if you don't accept that and and try and get through it uh it's it's just going to be a stressful after stressful moment uh time and time again and so i think really just embracing change and being okay with it and know that with change comes growth and you know that's really where you're getting outside of your comfort zone and i'm a big you know fan of that and and that's really just something that i'm continually reminded of with everything we've been through this past year uh just stay the course and continue uh believing in the process and your systems and your team and good things are going to come from those changes so uh, yeah, when you're feeling down and out, uh, just step back and know that everything's going to be okay and things will improve uh, with that that confidence and knowing that change is okay. To so never give up. The moment you are tr you you are fed up with everything and think, oh, this is not going to happen anymore, and I probably have to quit my work, quit my school, quit everything I do. That moment is 
like a few steps away from a breakthrough being a few steps away from a breakthrough so whenever you think i've had it this is it recognize it as a almost there for a breakthrough because that was happened with us and um uh, yeah uh, stay in there stay there stay strong plow through it um, in the end it will be worth it students and parents are nowhere near as bothered by price increases and changes in payment uh, as i think as i thought they would be um, this year I've grown my uh, student base a lot and I've put my prices up for the first time in, in, in a long time and I'm just a, a solo, you know, single tutor studio at the moment um, and I've for a long time I've just been doing pay for the lesson on the day, I've done that for years and years so this is the first year that I've uh, made people pay up front. Um, and I thought I'd get loads and loads of kickback um, with a price increase and the new the new way of paying all in all in one go i thought i'd get loads and loads of parents complaining not one nobody was bothered i was really worried about it everyone just went okay so that's that's a big lesson learned it's not as big a deal as i made it out to be in my head so a lesson that i've learned and something i'm practicing daily is patience um we've been working on building a expanding our school and just waiting for architects and engineers to get through the whole process and getting uh <clears throat> zoning and codes and everything it's it's just been a long long process and uh we're, we're jumping through hoops and doing everything we need but we uh we're ready we're ready to start the biggest lesson i learned this year it's a lesson that a lot of people mentioned last past bam squad christmas party and um I didn't learn it on time and it's hire slow, fire fast. Um, I think two things. The first being ask the question. Um, that was a, a, a big learning curve for me. It's okay to ask the question. Um, you don't know what you don't know. And when you're in an environment um, where you're surrounded by people that have been there, done that, um, have the knowledge and the skills and the expertise, ask the question. You'll never regret asking. There's no silly questions, especially in this environment. Um, and secondly, to get a clear picture of your financial situation as a business. Don't put it off. Um, it just takes that stress away when you actually know what it is that you're dealing with. Even if it's not a pretty picture, at least you have that picture and um, you can then take steps to um, change the landscape, basically. The lesson that I learned this year was that an office manager is absolutely necessary. We do have a fully staffed front desk team and recently we did lose our office manager and I tried to kind of disseminate her tasks between the ones that were still with us and take over some as well. But I learned really quick that an office manager is absolutely necessary so that your company continue, can continue to run um, without you having to be available all the time for questions that simply need to be talked out. Don't take advice from people who haven't done what you want to do. So, for example, I paid for some coaching um, with an individual who ran a school up to 100 students. And at that point, it was a single teacher studio. And at that point, um, he shut down his school and focused more on the coaching business. I don't want to get to 100 students. I want to get to 500 students or 1,000 students or 1,500 students. And um, and not just with piano lessons. I'm currently just a piano studio, and I'd like to. I want to do more, way more than that. So um, the coaching money that I spent there was it wasn't a complete waste, but it didn't move my business needle uh, to any degree that I wanted it to. So um, working with Johnny in a short time has been like like I've made miles miles more distance with him than I did with any any other coach so far so thank you Johnny and lesson learned follow the people that have done what you want to do one business thing that I learned this year um, is basically how important it is to remember everything that you've done because I know that uh, looking back even just thinking about this year I'm like wow we did this 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 and this and um, if when you forget that it, it can kind of be like well am I doing anything am I progressing at all 
Um, so it's important to just remember to keep you as a business owner motivated, um, like where you came from and uh, where you are now. Amazing. The, the wisdom that comes from you guys, incredible. Mm -hmm. um, I took just one thing, just, oh, actually a couple of things, lots of things resonated. One of them that really resonated um, was the idea around um, t making your 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 employees your teammates and really sort of surrounding yourself with good people that become friends and family and I know that that's that's really um, an ethos that Johnny um, is all about um, we have an incredible team here and we're not just workmates we're you know we're, we're a family so that's pretty cool and the other thing was Colin's just incredible wisdom around when you're ready um, you're ready to just give up that's actually that's the point where you're about to just make this incredible breakthrough so those are the sort of just real standout moments for I me I wish I could have Colin Colin is just like a 24 7 motivational coach he's yeah. so motivating yeah amazing and um and if I could also play on that drum kit behind him <laughs> um, so and he was like look at all that equipment and I am I'm not a musician so I was like yeah but but Johnny was impressed. So if Colin ever hits hard times he can always sell that for probably four million dollars it's pretty amazing <laughs> um there's one extra clip in there that uh, i'm actually going to go cut out and play for our at the start of our team strategy week next year it was i won't tell you who it was but that's the level of the gold that there is i think there's something mm. that um speaks to some things that we're working on with our business and uh i'll play it again in the new year and we'll love it and it'll give us some um structure of what we're going to be planning for next year so, so that we're not yeah. we're not kidding when we say we get as much out of out of these videos as you guys do like we that, should really be paying the, fees that, yeah we should yeah. be that's the level like we will we will take from those videos just as much as you guys do and we will integrate that into our our business and our learning as well yeah so good hey if you're just joining us um welcome so good to see you at the 2022 bam squad christmas party um the replay will be available so if you've missed stuff um at the start you can come back and watch i can see already um jamie watkins has joined us and she missed um at the start her self winning an award that's okay because it's bright and early breakfast time in Australia where she is. So go back and watch the replay. But uh, we've got all sorts of prizes. Speaking all sorts of, of going awards. back, we're going to go back to um, Johnny's most recent spot prize, which was um, naming the podcast book or other inspirational something that you are watching at the moment. And the team over there, team, give us a wave. Uh, behind the scenes, yeah, they've picked a winner. So um, win a chicken dinner. Winner, winner for this one is Mr. Johnny Hayes. Yes. And um, Johnny recommended the new Chris Hemsworth um, series that is currently on Netflix. It is called Limitless and it is an incredible series that I'm um, about pushing boundaries going further than you ever thought um, wow. possible so it's not specific to business but it is that kind of real life lesson stuff mindset and, and yeah mindset, yeah good stuff oh, I've never heard so, of it that sounds awesome woo, and you know it's Chris Hemsworth so worth watching but of course we all know the best looking Hemsworth in the world is Michael Hemsworth uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bam Squad member Michael Williams. We have so a spot price for Johnny Hayes, another seventy-five. The good uh, news Amazon about doctor. all of these seventy-five dollar baubles is that the big stuff that's that's still there, still in the still in alto stocking. Yeah. Um, we're gonna um do something different now. We have let me just share the the slide for this. We have been pumping out this year so much stuff for you guys just like, i am exhausted just looking at this list i tell you what so mel came up with the two minute challenge she's like johnny do you reckon you can list everything that we've added to the library in two minutes i don't think i can as well but we're going to give it a go so um we as a team and um laura's laura's missing um today but she's she's online with us but um we uh always listening to what's happening every phone call that we're, i have with you guys um every question like we are just constantly listening talking mm -hmm. oh you know dirk needs this oh steve needs this oh, um lisa harper needs this like we we're building stuff that you guys need and um i'm gonna list you everything that we've added in the library since uh like during 2022 okay and so and, and because i don't believe that johnny can possibly do this in quick time i am gonna time him on my phone and see if he can 
go through all of this list within two minutes. You've got it on countdown? I am counting down. All right. Okay. Um, maybe time it and see it. I'm not counting down. Do time it. Oh, you want to time it? Yeah. We'll we'll see how um how long it's. How it long? Okay. So it's because he knows he can't do it in two minutes. He's gotten scared. I haven't. Changed the rules. I haven't tried it, but you give me a three, two, one, okay. and uh, we, we're going to go for it. Ready? Steady? Go! Oh. Okay, we launched a program all about how to price your lessons like a pro. We looked at how to implement your price increases with without upsetting parents and losing students. We created the winning website course. Uh, we did a masterclass on how to sell your music school for top dollar. This is not in order, by the way. We did a really cool, cute new ad campaign in the style of Hallmark cards. We did an, a really cool animated Guess Who style video ad set like the board game. Uh, we launched a bunch of beta spots to our Hello Cash Flow software we're building for you guys that will sync with your Zero account and eventually um, QuickBooks and all the others. Um, there's more spots available if you want to email me. We did a masterclass on how to recession proof your music school. Um, the team has written summaries under all the videos in the library, which will be finished. It's about 60, 70% done, be finished in the coming months. We did a full plug and play gamification system for beginner and intermediate students with curriculum books, tests, gamified roadmap templates to in, uh, increase your student you know, enjoyment and, uh, and retention. We launched our successful group lessons course that was created with 11 other BAM squad members with successful group lesson programs. We uh, did a whole course on how to create a compelling offer that stands out from your competition in module two, one of the single best courses in the library if you haven't done it. We did a massive research project analyzing over 30 music school business models and scoring them on 20 different important factors with reflective questions that help you choose uh, the best model for your business and lifestyle goals. We did a comprehensive list of all the tasks that are involved in producing music lessons in case a student or parent kind of pushes you about the price. Uh, we we made a holiday slash summer camp um, activity idea list with over 100 activity ideas that you can use. We um, did a mini course on how to make an amazing promotional video for your music school and highlighted some of the best ones in the BAM squad. We did a whole uh, uh, case study on transitioning your tutors or teachers from contractors to employees uh, and made a course with that with three case study members. We uh, had Melanie um, Bowers from Keynotes come and deliver an amazing masterclass on how to teach group lessons with behind the scenes footage from uh, two or three of her classes. Uh, we had Melissa Wright to deliver the Sing With Me starter pack with this amazing vocal curriculum mm -hmm. in the curriculum library. Uh, we have added a new contents module to the library, so now you can easily search the 782 and counting videos and downloads to find exactly what you need. Each video is hyperlinked, so you can click to it directly. Plus, we did hundreds of other tweaks and improvements to all the, the videos, adding extra uh, resources that you guys have shared and examples uh, and collaborations. Um, we have the BAM Squad Christmas stocking we're about to uh, release in probably 10 minutes. That's had uh, how many gifts, Cara? 101. 101, 101. 101 gifts that are extremely valuable. We launched BAMCON, which is a seven-day road trip across New Zealand happening in February. There's been over 3,000 posts in the community, 17,000 comments, and nearly 30,000 reactions to posts. And finally, this banging Christmas party here. Oh. What a year. I, I, I've been wondering for a while why I'm exhausted. And honestly, that list sums it up. This has been a really busy year, but man, it's been amazing. It's a lot of content, day. Eh? a lot of content. I think we yeah. might have gone a bit too hard. Yeah, next year we're just going to give up. We're not so, going to do anything. I'm just really competitive and I want to make sure we are the best <laughs> and we get the best results and have the best stuff. So, uh, Johnny yeah. is an overachiever, let's be honest. So, um, a thousand band points. If you went through that list, you're like, Yeah, I've watched that, I've done that, I've implemented that, tick that off. Yep. Um, yep. has anyone done that? Probably not. It's, it's crazy. No. Um, but, if, but if you take honestly, if you take anything from that list, please let it be the contents page. Use it, it's amazing. You will find all the things you need. You just use the contents page. 782 amazing things, even. And that's that's to prevent Mel getting emails. Where do I find this? How do I, I find love your this? emails. I love your emails, but please use, please. Your please new use best gift page. is, uh, you know, control F or well, command F find and then you'll find it in the um, contents page so there we go massive year um hope you hopefully you guys have um uh, appreciated that and found valuable resources that you um 
yeah, you can tap into for life. And just remember, Band Squad is not a course where you jump in six weeks. We're here for life. We're going to keep building stuff. It took us 10 years to get to 2,000 students. We want to get you to crazy seven-figure schools. We're here for the journey. So we'll continue to update, prune, improve. And I think the other one little takeaway from that is that if you're sitting there and you've been through the contents page and you've looked for something that you really need and it's not there, let us know. Because Johnny is 100% honest when he says that the things we're creating are the things that you need and you want. So if there's something we're missing, let us know. Ask and you shall receive. Shall receive. We need to give out some more presents, which I'm very excited to do. Now, um, as I um, share this, I just want to say that it's very, very hard to pick presents because, oh my goodness, like the the quality of um, people in the BAM squad and the awards, uh, just, yeah, there's, there's too many people to pick. You're so, too awesome. Stop being so awesome. So if we could have a week and give everyone an award, they'll get one. But we've picked we've picked a bunch. We'll, um, we've got a few more award sections to go. But um, I'm going to kick off with the 2022 BAM Squad Mumpreneur of the Year Award. And this is... Be honest, Johnny, did you just make that word up? No, this is a very, uh, like, hip, cool thing. It's probably a hashtag somewhere you can search. Uh, but mum entrepreneur in the BAM squad there's so many of you guys and um, you're incredible but I gave this award to uh, Laurie Preston Woo! and there she is your smiley face and she does have the best smile you're yeah you're amazing she's Laurie. she's very like she looks like she'd give a really good hug do you think yeah, yeah do you reckon yeah like um, she's just an awesome, awesome mum entrepreneur and a real like rock in her family and her community. Her music school has grown like big, in, big heart, yeah, lady, big heart. And music school has grown insane. She's um, she's got her family working in her music school and they're incredible. I've met them. Uh, they're coming to BAMCON. Uh, is it just her and her husband are coming to BAMCON? I believe. Yep. So that's cool. So we'll we'll test out how good her hugs are. I'm sure they're, they're excellent. And so she wins a prize. Let's see. Do you want to draw it? I'll draw it. Yep. Oh, let's yes. see. Let's see what she is going to win. Prove whether or not there is anything in this stocking other oh. than. You hold up to Where it. Oh, these sparkly ones are hard. $50. Gotcha. There we go. So that's for you, uh, Laurie. Let's move on to the next award. And this one is going to go to the BAM Squad Warp Speed Award. So many people have um, had exceptional growth really fast. This person just kind of blows our mind and um, and she deserves this award. And so this goes to the wonderful Lisa Harper, who I can see is online. Are you there, Lisa? Give her a shout. Give her a tag. There she is. Oh, she's already clapping. And Laurie's here. Awesome. So good you guys are here live. Yeah. Um, Lisa, nice see you. there she is. Um, so, sorry, these are like screen grabs. If you're not happy with your photo, yeah. I'm sorry. It's because Johnny has stalked your Facebook page. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, uh, Lisa is incredible. She, I think she joined us with like zero students, was starting from scratch. And like within a year and a bit or something, she's like got a team, mm -hmm. her own commercial location. She She's long past 100 students, just and she's insane. talking about building the business that she will one day be able to kind of step yeah. out of. So that long-term vision is that's something else. Yeah, so insane. Go so on, Johnny. Warp Speed Award for Lisa Harper. And let's see what price she's going to get. It is a $50 Amazon voucher. Thank you, Lisa. All right, I think I got one more and then we'll have something else cool coming up. Um. So... Here we go. What is next? We have the oh yes, this is this is a good one. This is the 22 kick ass award for someone yeah. that's just you know, part of my French, they have just kicked ass this year. They are just so amazing, work to their absolute butts off. And um, this goes to Dirk. Yes. Um Dirk is I remember meeting with Dirk when he joined us in mm -hmm. April, I believe, mm -hmm. and um and he was uh, having a rough time in his studio and sort of on the fence of I'm either gonna turn this around or I'm gonna, you know, pack it in. And man, he has turned it around. He's um you might have seen him in the video. He has like more than doubled his income he's like grown his school he's like about to start hiring people he's changed all his processes like he literally just got in went nuts turned things around got serious and the results are there he is living proof of colin's advice that when you're like fed up and about to give up that that's where the magic is just about you know like you're right on the 
cusp of magic. Yeah, so good. So there is Dirk, and I'm going to grab a random ball, and oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah. You can barely see this, and it's small, but basically, Dirk, but you... But it's the prettiest ball ball we have. It is. And so, Dirk, you have just won a $250 Amazon voucher. Well done, my friends. So there we go. Go buy yourself uh, something nice for Christmas. Go buy yourself a Christmas jersey. <laughs> All right. So um, we have, uh, we need to do. We're going to go on to another, another video. video. Yeah. We're going to do a video. And this video is, um, this is probably my favorite video. I mean, they're all favorites. I know. Shut up, Johnny. They're all, you, you love everything. You love everyone. Children. Yeah, yeah. But this one is where um, you guys have all shouted out and thanked a, a different BAM squad member that's meant a lot to you and helped you this year in 2022. Um, and, you know, anyone you found inspiring or who's physically, practically helped you. So um, before we kick into that video, what is a BAM squad member or two that have inspired you? I know there's 300 yeah, plus. Yeah, um, oh, it, it, it's hard, but I'm I'm going to give a massive shout out to the very lovely Kelly Kennedy. Um, Kelly is here in New Zealand. Um, right down the deep south of the country um, but just the most um, positive inspiring hard-working person and you would have heard you say earlier never afraid to ask a question mm. just just looking to to do more and do better and to grow with a new business and that is super inspiring to me yeah she's had a massive yeah she's awesome uh, a couple for me I would say uh, um, obviously Lisa Harper is mm. definitely an inspiration to me um, who's just had an award but also I think Nick Tucker as well yes. um, I've caught up with Nick a few times and he just thinks really big he mm. really invests and he, he takes bold moves and um is always learning and sharing things even with me like you got to check this out you know and uh so he's hugely inspiring so and I know he's working on something very kind of secret but huge for his music school this year he's added dance as well as music and so they've scaled up but he's looking at adding another thing and going huge but I shouldn't say anymore because it's it's secrets and, and he's it's, also it's... really willing to do that whole delegation spread spread the load really listen mm. to his team and power them um build them up so that's that's always something that we love to see as well that that idea of really building up and um and um empowering those around you yeah totally so uh let is uh let's throw to this video another video of you guys giving shout outs to the bam squad members that have helped you this year so which video is this? This one. This one. This here. amazing video. And we'll. I would like to thank Kelly Kennedy. Um, she runs our mastermind group and she's awesome. Um, I have missed a few of our meetings this year. I had COVID, I moved house, I had a rehearsal one night, but um, she's still there and you can always get in touch with her and that's awesome. And I want to be like you when I grow up, Kelly. Well, uh, since I am a new uh, BAM Squad team member, um, I didn't really uh, interact with a lot of people here. Uh, I, I joined two weeks ago, but really in those two weeks uh, I get a lot of help from everyone. So I want to thank you all. A big thank you to all the BAM Squad team members. My little shout out goes to the guys that thought of blessing me. Uh, because that has made our teachers very, very happy and has made our business a billion times better. So good job, you guys. Great job on Lesson Mate. Brilliant. And you guys are making me look good because all I had to do is use it and everybody thinks I'm really smart. So. There have been so many inspirational and encouraging people who share on the Pam Squad and I really appreciate it. But the person I'd like to especially um, say thank you to is Nick Tucker, that we are part of the Studio Success System that, um, that he sponsored, but he has gone um, the extra mile to help us. And he has made himself um, available if we can schedule time with him. And so he has helped us in so many ways to understand how to use it. And sometimes we come up with Rachel, um, who's, who's my daughter and I, we, she, um, we come up with these ideas and then we just share it with Nick and he figures out how to make it possible using his system. And also sometimes when we get creative and we think that we're doing something really awesome and we make a mistake 
and duplicate a whole bunch of contacts or something like that. He spends time to help his problem solve and to figure out how to how to solve it. And he's he's never upset about it. He's just he just takes it in stride and he has some he's very humorous and um we just think that it's a real privilege to be able to work with him i have to say Marco. <laughs> marco's been really really supportive um really interested in my work and um and, and just gone through so much um you know such lengths to uh to support and encourage uh, the work that we're doing with um you know uh children in underserved communities trying to get music to them and i really do appreciate everything he's done for us it's done over and beyond um in terms of within the other people within the group i find uh, a lot of people so inspirational um and so while um i may not have you know sort of a lot of direct contact with them the contributions uh, to the group um have really really helped me a lot uh nick i think is one of those people that comes to mind um, I think that's Nick Tucker, I think is his name. Um, and um, yeah, there's, uh, there's quite a few people uh, within, the, within the band squad that just from, you know, sharing their wisdom, asking questions, um, I have really found, um, I've really found uh, them to be very inspirational. So yeah, it's a fantastic community to be in. I'm super glad that I found, found you guys. All right, so I'd like to shout out to Nick Tucker um for all the fine resources and he's always um he's always given some good input so i feel like i learned from him so thank you nick yeah a big thank you to daniel and the whole crew at monster music uh super generous of you all to upload your amazing curriculum uh, and give everyone kind of free reign on it so i uh, appreciate that we were able to combine it with some curriculum that we had developed ourselves and, and made a really robust uh curriculum to use for our our lessons both for individual and group lessons so thanks again daniel and the team my bam squad shout out has got to go to the one and only michael hemsworth uh not only is michael just a very encouraging mastermind leader um but he also has taken plenty of time uh, out of his day to check on in uh on me personally and see how stuff is going and really be able to have uh some one-on-one -on -one conversations so michael hemsworth you rock uh, we love you lots and we think you're the greatest. I'd like to shout out my mastermind to the round table. Uh, it's been a great year together and, um, you know, we've come from all over different ends of the world and uh, coming together, finding a time that worked and um, come from all different perspectives. It's been a really nice experience. So I'm really grateful to you guys. Thank you for your support and encouragement and perspective this year. I learned a lot and uh, I really wish you all the the very best as we head into the new year and on your various journeys at different stages uh, it's been great to get to know you and um it's been great to have people to keep us planted and um and accountable too so thank you and uh good job round table shout out to anastasia moore she's been such a great help in the mastermind group and um she gave me some couple of advices for running my christmas recital I really appreciate it. Every single member of my mastermind group, um, you are all amazing and I love every one of you. Um, I also would love to make a special shout out to Claire Bowes. Um, Claire's advice and support over the past few months has been um, second to none. It's been just brilliant. Um, and we're planning a little Northern Ireland BAM squad night away <laughs> um, where we're just going to focus on uh, goals and stuff like that so it's going to be really great. The BAM squad member I'd like to thank this year Mr Nick Tucker I'm sure lots of people are going to thank him because he's an awesome dude and constantly helping people out um, but for me uh, I was looking for a new way to write a job description um, a different way because I was bored of the same old uh, results not getting the people that I was looking for and I asked him for um, a copy of the job description he wrote, which was super out of the box and not, not a normal job description. And he sent that to me straight away, no questions was asked. So yeah, thank you, Mr. Nick. That was awesome. Big shout out to Corey Moon and Eric Barassa, who are in a mastermind together with me. Um, without them, I don't know what I would have done this year because I feel like we have really bounced ideas off of each other and helped each other. Um, they probably have helped me more than they know. So thanks guys, I really appreciate you. I would like to thank Bree Joya Smar, 
the owner of Daytona Beach Music Academy, for introducing me to the BAM Squad. We have been friends for approximately seven years, and we don't talk every day, but from time to time we talk, and we made sure that she made sure that the last time we spoke, she introduced me to the BAM Squad, and she was sharing with me everything that she was learning. I am learning a whole lot, Rejoya, so I would like to thank you for sharing the BAM Squad with me. Enjoy your holiday. Phil Stormer really helped me in my mastermind class. We got sued for the first time this year by not even an employee, a potential applicant, and his advice really helped me, and I'm extremely grateful to him for all of his words of encouragement, and yes, thank you, Phil. You don't have to share this, but I can't think of anyone specific specifically um but definitely just the group in general has been a big help it's great to be a part of a community that's helpful but can't think of anyone specifically so yeah it's really tough this year for me to just pinpoint one person i mean everyone in this group is, is so giving of their ideas and strategies and all these great things um you know, so many people though, were, were talking constantly about switching their CRM into Opus One and just how happy they were with that new, with that software. And so we did take the leap and transitioned as well. So big shout out to everyone. I mean, there's so many of you that I think transitioned as well. And we're kind of in the same boat as us, but it's just been doing amazing things for our business, streamlined so many processes from sign up to marketing to, um, you know, self booking online, so many different things, our makeup policies and systems. It's just been a great, great transition transition. And we're still kind of getting into all of the, the great features with that software. So big shout out to everyone that um, was really a big uh, fan of Opus and kind of pushing that and how it's helped their schools. So grateful for all of you uh, that that was uh, a big inspiration for us to make that transition. I do want to say Johnny, uh, thank you so much for all your hard work and your team for all your hard work uh, that you put into the BAM squad and to, into uh, uh, helping us um, uh, be better uh, entrepreneurs and uh, music uh, music school owners. Thank you. BAM squad member that's probably been the most helpful uh, this year for me has been Cameron Stewart Matthews. Um, when I first joined the BAM squad, we always spoke. I think we had a couple of private messages. Um, and the reason is, we, I think we're both, I think I'm right in saying, Cameron, we're both kind of on, on a similar journey in that we're both drum teachers trying to, trying to grow. Um, but Cameron has just been a few, it's just a few stages ahead of me. So uh, it, it's really nice for me to kind of go, oh, what's, what's Cameron, as soon as I see a poster, what's, what, what's going on? What's Cameron doing next to, over at Drummer's Link? Um, so sorry, Cameron, if I've been a bit kind of stalkery, kind of liking your posts for Drummer's Link and on the BAM squad as soon as they come up. It's because I'm kind of going, w whatever you're doing, that's that's usually what I'm looking to do next. It's been very, very helpful. Thank you. I'd like to thank everybody in my BAM squad mastermind group, uh, Chris and Lori and, uh, and and all the other members, but mainly Chris and Lori, who we, who we see each other all the time, and our newest member, Charles. Um, and also, I'd very much like to thank Mike Grande um, for his Rock Out Loud platform and just being a good, uh, just being an inspiration for everything that he's done uh, with his schools and with his programs and constantly just raising the bar. Really impressive all the time. I have to thank uh, my entire mastermind group. You know who you are. Um, we're always chatting and it's just, it's a really special group to be a part of. Next would be Mike Loudon for all the Google ad help. Thank you, thank you. And then Heather McFadden for, I had some serious teacher woes and sent just this really sweet personal message that he got me through that day. So thank you, Heather. Well, I have to thank all my um, fellow BAM squad and mastermind members, of course, but especially uh, Sharon, because she um, shared with me the, um, the software you, that she uses and that allowed me to get started with automatic payments and enrollments and made my life much easier. I would like to thank Melanie, uh, Melanie of Keynotes. Um, Melanie is so present and 
just so approachable and accessible. Her keynotes program has been an absolute life changer um, or game changer for um, us here at KSOM and we have implemented this over the year with so much support from Melanie. You ask a question, she has the answer right there and then. Um, she, and if she doesn't have the answer, she messages you back, she follows up with you, checks in with you to see how you're doing. Um, you really feel like a valued um, member of her keynotes community. So. Um, I'm really grateful to Melanie. Thank you. There have been actually two people who have been instrumental in my journey with the music school. Um, they have helped keep me encouraged. They've answered my questions. Um, we've been able to share some of the obstacles and a lot of the wins that we've been going through. Um, and that is Rejoya Smar and Annie or Anastasia Butner Moore. These ladies have been incredible and I am so very thankful. Our phone calls happen and our masterminds happen right at the perfect time um, when I just need somebody to talk to who understands. So thank you so much to both of these ladies um, for how you helped me in my journey. So my mastermind group, fantastic bunch of people. Ashley Jensen, I believe is her last name. Uh, Darvin Lau, Eileen and Vince uh, Spal Spalzi and um, Benji. I don't remember his last name, but I think there's probably only one Benji. Anyway, they've all been just fantastic. Um, and I apologize to my mastermind group if I've left anybody out, but they've been awesome. Um, it's been just really awesome to just bounce ideas off of each other. And I've had some individual calls with some of them and um, they've really helped me uh, just brainstorm ideas and kind of steer me in the right direction in terms of marketing and some things that I've been struggling with over the last over this last year so thank you guys so much i appreciate you and merry christmas i just want to say thank you to everybody in my uh, mastermind group the rising stars uh, michelle rivlin and Derek johnson and everybody um, for really just motivating me to um, take that big leap um, you know encouraging me to go full-time with the music school and uh just saying you know i got your back we're you know we're here for you and that that has really helped me um, be at peace with um, this big decision, leaving my other job and just really tackling, focusing on the music school. So thank you guys. Thank you, Johnny. And Merry Christmas. Amazing. So, so good. good. So good. Um, Nick Tucker, I think you probably owe everyone like that shouted out to you, maybe $10. Like, I'm not sure how you've worked that, but he's I, definitely rigged that. Yeah. Yeah. There are, there are a lot of Nick Tucker comments i think you're definitely angling for captain bam squad so look out chris schaefer because it looks like nick tucker's coming for your title yeah there's so many um thank yous happening all the time i'll just give one extra shout out to um someone i think of uh, almost like a, a silent assassin mike loudon he's um just kicks butt he's such a cool guy and so many people mention him mm -hmm. as a as like a thank you behind the scenes so mike thank you for all the help that you give bam squad members behind the scenes you're the man that was that was amazing um was very good yeah so good um so um put the tissues away i'm sure you know there's been a few tears but it's time to give away another spot prize and this one um we're going to be talking about uh, an item of clothing i'll get it ready while you introduce this mel um i'm just gonna just point out um because while a lot of our members are maybe in um, the winter time and you're wearing your jerseys to keep you snugly and warm um, the dedication that this man is showing because we're actually in summer so you know this Christmas glow that Johnny is exhibiting is actually the it, it's sweat he's hot it's hot in here um, so dedication 100% I don't smell though right just checking no good so it is you then <laughs> <laughs> i hope you're buying me lunch after this um right moving right along spot Christmas prize sweater of the year now oh. everyone everyone has to get involved yeah, in here yeah, so like, get your get get, commenting yeah get your keypad ready so you have to vote so there's going to be a number uh that you need to put into the screen and you have to vote on the best christmas sweater uh, the team the team is not coming down with this one it's all on you guys contestant number one is heather in the uk and she's got the uh the it, mickey mouse um i think it's mini is it mini mini mouse um and the hat looking sharp there heather that's number one if you think she's the winner put a number one in the mm -hmm. chat uh number two jared the man I, i've already commented earlier in the week on this one like jared 
you know, I've said it before, I'll say it again. You win Christmas with this sweater. The, the tinsel, the baubles, it's all there. The team is just saying how they want to um, improve my jersey yeah. like this. We, we're going to bling, bling up Johnny's jersey. <laughs> I feel like every year we're going to add something to it. I'll be wearing candy canes as earrings or yeah, something and, silly. And some of Wes's uh, snowman glasses. Uh, Ray, he didn't have the sweater, so he's improvised, and we get points for creativity top, top here. Points for creativity. So absolutely. I don't know what that is, if that's wrapping paper or something or a box, but. Um, Ray, number three, if you think that's uh, that's the winner. Uh, number four, um, had to go for Chris. It was it's so funny the, watching him. That is sensational. Just watching him drop these absolute pearls of wisdom and trying to take him seriously while he wears this one. Flippy, flippy hat. Um, and I've got to say, like, a few years ago, and I refer to Chris as Captain Bam Squad because a few years ago, he just slayed. That's at Christmas. <laughs> ba -dum -psh. Ba -dum um in our christmas party he won literally all the prizes this man is kitted out he's got a bam squad hoodie he's got a cap he's got a hat he's got a backpack he's umbrella. got a mug probably got an umbrella and yet no, he did. and yet he chose to wear this stunning example of christmas over all the bam squad stuff so you know you've got to get extra points for that as well i reckon he looks like santa's bouncer you know or like santa's security <laughs> he's a tough man chris yeah. so put a number in the chat and um and the team will come back to us in a while to announce the award. So uh, do you think it's uh, number one, Heather? Number two, Jared? Number three, Ray? Number four, Chris? Oh, um, Juliet has the Christmas sweater pearl of wisdom. Yeah. Um, if your sweater is still washable, you don't have enough on it. Oh, wow. Okay. We are blinging out this jersey. This is definitely wash washable. So we'll um, we'll take it to the next level next year. Yeah. Okay, we'll we'll come back to that in a moment. I, I'm, I'm just going to let you know there is there is a current hot favorite in the lead. So if 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 you're thinking somewhere else, get in and vote. Okay, sounds good. I'm looking forward to seeing who wins, but I'm going to move along and do some more awards. Yeah, Johnny, yeah. Johnny said to me last week, Mel, you need to come up with three awards. I'll come up with three awards. Johnny lied. Johnny came up with six awards. So we're now. We're now going to go into Johnny's second lot of awards. Total. He's an award. Total show pony, that yeah, guy. Just, yeah. Yeah. No, um, we're going to, we're going to full screen this. Um, oh, come on. Text come on, Johnny. Text support. Can we can it. do it. Can okay, do here it. we go. We're going to share screen. So we got some more awards. Here we go. This one here, um, I called the one to watch in 2023 award. and um. I couldn't, again, I wanted to pick a whole lot of people. I couldn't pick one. I had to pick two. And so I've actually given this award to two people that I think are just going to absolutely crush it next year. They've done the groundwork. Um, they've just proved themselves uh, character-wise, work ethic-wise. Um, they've got really unique, cool strategies, and they're going to crush it. And that's going to go to Ray Ross what? and Wes Boyce. So um, Wes, I believe, is in Florida, and Ray is in Lethbridge in Canada. And um, this is Ray, uh, Prairie Piano Studios. He is the man. Uh, he's on some of the videos. Super cool guy. Uh, we've been working together one-on-one -on -one this year, and man, 2023 is going to be his year. Same with Wes, and again, and with those glasses, we should have entered him yeah, in, the, success, in the awards. Yeah, success is guaranteed if you can rock those glasses. Yeah, I think next year it's not just Christmas sweater; it's like the whole dress up, you know. So um, you've been, you were robbed. Yeah, you were robbed. So Wes and Ray, we need to give you guys a present. So let's um get the stocking ready. Let's start with Ray. Okay. Yeah, are we going to go two? Yep. Oh, we're going two separate prizes. Oh, I think we've got enough to do um, a separate one each. So here we go. Um, I said Ray first day. Yeah. Ray, $50 Amazon voucher coming to you, my friend. And one more for Wes. We're covered in glitter here. It's great. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a, a bigger one. There we go. So Wes, 150. You're writing these down, Mel? I am. I'm writing these down. I'm yeah. writing these down. So you'll cover that out of your um, bank account, I assume. It's coming out of my Christmas <laughs> bonus. Let's let's power with the awards. So um, keep giving these guys big shout outs in the comments. Uh, what is next? Okay. This here is a statistical analysis award um, that has been provided by uh, Facebook. 
and this is the 2022 most active member in the BAM squad. I think it would only show the last six months, mm. but the most active member who I see all the time commenting, sharing, encouraging, asking great questions, sharing good resources, sharing really cool videos. I remember there's even a video this person shared that we all stopped at work and played the video on the screen, which is super cool of a concert band she put together. And this goes to... Whoa, 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 <laughs> this way. Marlena Gooseby. So awesome. There she is. Johnny there. is so busy thinking about the embellishments we're going to add to that juicy. It's getting <laughs> all excited and going the wrong way. But Marlena, you are amazing. Yeah. And her school, I think, is called Grow Your Gift Music School. And that's what she's passionate about growing people in their musical gifts. Let's get a prize for Marlena. All right. Go on, go on in deep. Here we go. Uh, $50 Amazon voucher, Marlena. Mm -hmm. Well done. Okay, uh, that was there was three awards. So, um, what is what is next on our schedule? We've got to, we've got to check. Oh yes, big plans for twenty twenty three. So here, yeah, we've got um, we've got a video coming up soon from you guys talking Did about you give three prizes again across two awards. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. You're, you're confusing everybody. You got to keep up. <laughs> we'll get you some professional development. Um, we. <laughs> We um, uh, when you come to New Zealand, um, the way that we show love and appreciation is by insulting each other. Yeah, so yeah. you're gonna think we're really mean for the first day, but it means we love you. So we really love you. Yeah, yeah. So um, we have a video coming up, which is all the biggest things that people are looking forward to next year, and is very very inspiring. But Mel, quickly from you. Um, uh, and while the team gets ready for the announcement of the, yes, yes. the spot prize of the it's, Christmas I mean, sweater, it's the highlight of the entire party. That's what we, that's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. Um, what are you looking forward to in 2023? Um, Bam Squad. Or I'm going to go. I can't pick one, so I'm going to go with three. I'm looking forward to Bamcon. Yes, Bamcon 2023 here in New Zealand. Um, going to be incredible. Um, and one of the things that I'm most looking forward to about Bamcon is actually getting to meet you guys in the flesh um so that's going to be incredible and, and seeing you guys interact um and the other thing I'm really looking forward to is I'm um, really developing my my role in in the community space that we have here and really developing how that rolls and and getting to know you all a bit better as well mm, I'm like very cool um I'm about you uh obviously BAMCON is going to be amazing mm -hmm. uh a couple things at BAMCON I'm looking forward to is the BAMCON bungee jump so there's uh, not going to be me. It's not going to be me, but someone is going to get to. We're going to shout them a uh, a ticket to jump off a bridge over mm -hmm. a big uh, river and on a, um, on a giant rubber band, a couple hundred mm -hmm. meters or something silly, and uh, that's going to be really fun for someone else and terrifying for and, us to watch. Fun for us to watch. It's going to be incredible. So that's going to be really cool. Uh, what else is there? I wrote down. Um, uh, like the content team is on fire yeah. and the just the we've come a long way as you can see it's it's insane but what we've got planned for next year is like even better and so uh i'm excited for What's that this just keep developing mm -hmm. one other thing that um i won't announce in detail until you know probably a few months into next year but we're creating something really epic for you top level of the BAM squad and two different levels people that just want to go a bit further faster and um the top level I'm very pumped about both levels and it's going to be called the BAM squad ballers our most successful BAM squad members who want to have kind of a separate elite experience and there's like 20 30 incredible bonuses including a tropical island getaway BAM squad ballers in paradise <laughs> It's good name, eh? The team hasn't heard this. They're like, have you even run this past us? I'm laughing, not because that isn't incredible, but I happened to just look at Johnny's wife, Kate, at the exact moment he said that, and she is just... Do you want to come? It's pure. She, come? It's pure. Just, she cannot believe what she is hearing. It's, but it's so long. It's, it's, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be, it's going to be good. So uh, keep an eye out for that. We'll we'll uh, we'll talk more about that after after BAMCON. Yeah, it's yeah. So Johnny gets to announce amazing things. I'm still going to keep rocking for BAMCON BAMCON 2.0, the winter experience. So you know we've we've both got stuff that we're we're angling for. I'm not sure who's going to win. I'll go run BAM Squad Ballers in Paradise <laughs> on a tropical island. You can go run a cold. 
that you know one really with amazing. snow and yeah yeah, yeah yeah we'll see it's going to be an amazing year every year is an amazing year in the bam squad but we hope that every will just get better and better um we're going to cut to a video in just a moment but we're going to get our prize in from the team of who the winner is who is um, our christmas so, juicy winner let me pull up the let me pull up the slide and see our options where where was it it was uh over here oh yes so the winner oh, is stunning example the winner is number two jared loss from usa see you do win christmas pretty cool so um are we going to draw a prize for jared i think he i think he deserves that do you want to draw it draw, draw it okay draw it. so we have we have this is the second to last prize the um the last prize of the day is for BAM Squatter of the Year. I wonder who that is. Just enough to buy yourself a matching hat to go with that jersey. Yes. You can never have enough Christmas. There you go, Jared. $50 Amazon voucher coming your way. Uh, let's go to our final video from you guys about what you're excited and pumped for for 2023. You're going to love this video. It's, uh, man, super inspiring. We're going to full screen that and um while you're just doing that yep give me some of your new new year's resolutions what are you, what are you going to be making happen rocking changing in the new year yeah if you're let not us know in the comments yeah if you're not featured in this video let us know what are you pumped about for for next year what big goals are you setting but here are the people that sent in their videos enjoy our goal this coming year is to add more opportunities for our adult students. Uh, it was during the pandemic, we had this huge influx of adults that were wanting to learn music. Uh, and so right now I think we're teaching 40 to 50 adult students. You know, we started our band league program for um, our, our older musicians, our 10 to, 10 to 18 year olds. But this coming year, we would love to start an adult band league. Um, we might start as a couple nights a month with like a, a, a nightly jam and see how that progresses and grows. Um, but yeah, excited for that to continue to cultivate our our community uh, of all ages. I really have no idea yet what's going to be the biggest, most exciting thing I'm looking forward to in 2022. It's more of getting out of a problem kind of situation right now. I already had the most exciting thing happen, which was the Christmas recital. Now it's just, how, how do I advertise myself to maybe like uh, schools um, here in my town? Um, and I'm really curious because um, um, I am just a, I, uh, my, I'm just a piano school right now and I don't know how I would do big shows for these schools in my town. I'll just have to think of this uh, a bit more. 2023, we want to double our numbers. Uh, we want to reach more lives, touch more uh, children uh, with a gift of music who couldn't otherwise pay for it. We also want to hopefully uh, become an accredited center um, to offer uh, exams with some of the uh, major exam boards um, from, um, from the UK. So, um, yeah, three main things that uh, double our, our numbers of you know, students in the studio, uh, touch more lives uh, through music that could not otherwise have been able to afford it and hopefully become an accredited exam center so that we can then begin to be a hub for other music teachers in the area. So for 2023, I'm most excited to uh, really dig deeper into the BAM Squad reference material. Uh, I, I feel like I haven't even begun to utilize what's there. So uh, I see nothing but um, rainbows and kittens, <laughs> whiskers on kittens. Merry Christmas, you guys. Uh, it's going to be a good year. For 2023, I am most excited about our brand new rock band program. It's for intermediate to advanced students, and it's kind of a more professional take on the rock band programs and uh, we're calling it the real band experience it's in a professional rehearsal space in Toronto and also a professional recording studio so they even have a little mini tour planned at a cute pub in Toronto and some other other performance spots so we're excited about this okay so I'm starting an intro to music program in January and that's I'm pumped about that. <clears throat> I think as I've just been preparing for it and building curriculum um, and just getting everything done that needs to be done 
to get it going, I've kind of had my enthusiasm and the fun aspect of running the business and doing music as a career has been kind of um, re-injected back into my soul <laughs> or into my life. And um, so I'm excited for the fun and the um, the growth that's going to come from that. And I'm, I'm looking forward to building a wicked awesome summer program. I don't know exactly how it's going to look yet, but um, I really, I really want to hit that hard this year and just make it awesome. So that's what I'm looking forward to the most. Next big thing that's happening in 2023 is we're going to launch our bus system. And um, I also have an awesome business plan from Johnny. So you guys should meet with him one-on-one -on -one for sure. Uh, he's helped direct me. Um, with specific goals in mind. So um, I'm going to be doing specific things like uh, building out like a, some online stuff and raising prices and whatnot. So I'm really excited for that. I want to take this music school to the next level because it will have my full attention um, starting January 1st. I'm officially done with my other job and I will be on the music school 100%. And so it's going to be, I, I'm just so excited. We'll, we'll see what happens. It's going to be great. So yeah. Big deal, 2023. In the next year, we are planning to expand. So we will get another apartment in our building here. Um, that's the most exciting thing I'm waiting for uh, in the next year in 2023. So let's go to this. 2023, I cannot wait to go um, on a business trip to the beach. <laughs> Last I heard, we're going to like, New Zealand and write it off on our taxes, do some cool learning while we explore and I'm pretty stoked about that. So yeah. Yay. Our presence in the community is what we want to focus on over the next few months, along with knocking this recession out of the park and coming out the other side a lot better. So 2023 is uh, potentially the um, biggest, most important year for uh, my business life so far, because uh, I actually bought my business from someone else. So I took it over. Um, so it was already sort of um, established and I'm putting my own stamp on it now. So next year we're doing a complete rebrand. Uh, we've already started the process, but hopefully the implementation will happen sort of midway through next year. So that's gonna be a big undertaking. Uh, it's really gonna uh, refresh and change the business, uh, hopefully for the better uh, going forward. So yeah, that's what I'm most excited about for 2023. We just um, made a bunch of changes in the business, not just a price change, but we are changing the scheduling, we're changing curriculum, all kinds of things, um, all to go in into effect on January 1st. So I am super excited that 2023 is basically gonna be like our, my, my academy is called Thrive and I'm calling it Thrive 2.0. Um, we, you know, I started the business kind of figure, started kind of figuring things out a little bit and now it's time to really take things and, and just take off. So I'm super excited for it. Well, I'm very excited for next year because we're going to work as school on uh, a hybrid uh, class setting where online and offline will be uh, combined into one program. And we are really looking forward to that. Um, and uh, uh, it's all based, uh, uh, or not all, it's 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 partly based on uh, the intro to music uh, uh, material that, that uh, came from the BAM squad, but also like uh, our own material. So looking forward to that. And of course, I'm gonna make a new album with my own band and looking forward to that as well. I'm really excited for 2023 to not be under construction, putting rooms together and developing classes. I'm excited that everything is up and going now that we've moved into our new location and I can just focus more individually on students and parents and teachers. So this is really top of mind for me. We just had our end of the year meeting uh, with my entire team. Uh, wrapping up 2022, kind of projecting into 2023 and, and going through our, our quarter, uh, first quarter kind of goals. It's going to be a heck of a year. Uh, we've got so much planned for 2023, more concerts, more opportunities for our students. Um, we're going to be, we've partnered with a couple companies that we're going to be doing some cross promotions with a few dance schools in the area that we've been really talking to and growing those relationships with in the end of this year. Um, we're just really excited for all that's coming. We're rolling out 
more group programs for 2023. Super excited about that. And I finally, I think, have cracked the code with starting show teams. Uh, we've got our show team internally. They're they're finally formed. They've been rehearsing. I've got some some really strong relationships built with three or four local schools. Uh, I know a lot of the BAM squad members that have taken that leap of faith into the show teams and going out to schools has just grown drastically. Uh, so we're really, really excited about getting that going in 2023, uh, quarter one. So yeah, lots of exciting things happening in the pipeline and we're ready to just start rocking and rolling. Um, yeah, super excited about all that. One thing that I'm really excited about um that's coming up at my drum school is that I'm about to train up my first ever staff member. I've got a young teacher coming on board and uh, I'm going to start training him uh, in January so he can take on some of my beginner students and I can't wait to get going with that. So hopefully in 2023 we will be beginning and finishing our um, expansion plans which will also include a music venue and more rehearsal space for lessons and uh, really just a mixed use creative space. But we're just really, really excited to to finally uh, get to do our vision for what the school, what we've always seen as the school being. For 2022, I'm very excited about having a, a bigger studio space that will allow us to get started with group classes. So for 2023, we have implemented the dream team uh, that is going to be our vision and implementation team. So for so long, uh, it was my visions that I would put in place and kind of train people up to make sure things happen. But I have developed a team of three to four people, three of them have committed already, who will be a part of the dream team and they will brainstorm the coolest ideas that we can do at Grow Your Give that will truly make us stand out in the community. They've already given me some ideas that they have that they're going to start working through and I absolutely cannot wait because as I've always told them, it is not the Marlena show. It is the Grow Your Gift show, so their insight is going to be valuable. I'm really excited about what's going to happen. Next year, we will be moving into commercial premises. I'm yet to actually pin down which place it will be, but that's a massive growth um, step for us to take, stepping out of the front three rooms of my house into somewhere more professional. Exciting times. The thing I'm most excited about in 2023, besides going to BAMCON, can't wait for that and to see everybody there and to um, experience that. But we're really excited that we've been working on getting things automated in our studio. And I'm so excited about that to see um, how that's going to help our studio just to run smoother and to get systems and to be able to um, have other people involved and not just me and other people who know how to do things and to um really get get automate automations down and just to just to streamline things so i'm really excited about that i think in 2023 uh there's two things i'm really excited about the first one is uh just continuing to grow our leadership team and being able to promote people within the company so our hope is uh, in 2023, we're going to be able to take our front office department lead and move them into a uh, vice president of operations or a larger role in that capacity, uh, and then promote one of our desk staffs into the front office manager spot. Um, and then the second thing that I'm most excited about for 2023 is uh, we've got an opportunity on the table we're looking at uh for a potential very large expansion so i'm looking forward to looking more into that and uh and continuing to pursue uh the growth of our school and the impact that we can have in the communities i'm really excited to grow our office support team so we've um you know we've really pushed our current staff through quite a lot and they're doing a lot of varied roles so uh, what i'm really excited about is to bring some good new talent in who are going to support our current team take a bit of the load off their shoulders and uh, ultimately to have more focused roles that are going to work even better for us and for, for the school. So I'm really excited to bring on fresh perspective and uh, fresh insight and uh, help us all to do a great thing. In 2023, I'm looking forward for more performances in the community for my students. I'm looking to use new ways of to market Savannah Music Academy, new growth, and therefore with the new growth, 
me hiring my first new teacher. We have a new location locked in. Um, it is so much bigger than where we are. It's over 350 square meters. Uh, it's in the same building, so moving is going to be a lot easier than, than it could have been otherwise. Um, and what this does is it just opens up so many possibilities in terms of what we can offer because now we have the space to offer that. Really, really excited for that. Secondly, um, we have connected with, I think, eight new schools for 2023 and we're going to be going into those schools and offering lessons during uh, school hours for the kids, um, freeing up after school time um, here at the studio and just being able to reach more families. Super excited for that. Wow. 2023 is going to be off the hook. I can't wait, man. So um, you can see how inspiring it is watching those videos. So make sure in 2023, you're you're sharing your photos, you're sharing videos, sharing lessons that you're learning, share the questions you're asking with um, that you need help with, share the struggles you're having. Um, just keep sharing the journey because people are learning from you. We're all helping each other. So valuable and so inspiring. Yeah, absolutely. Love it. We um, just a reminder, if you're joining us, um, you can watch the replay. So if you've missed the start, there's been all this amazing stuff that's been happening. Award, You may have even won an award and not known about it. So um, go back and watch the replay once it's published. We have two more things to do. We uh, we need to celebrate the BAM Squatter of the Year. This is a uh, massive, uh, massive prize. And this person is going to get... Um, because they're actually coming to BAMCON, we're going to give them $500 spending money at BAMCON. So um, that won't won't go far in New Zealand at the moment. Might, might get three bacon and egg sandwiches. A tank of gas, maybe. Hmm. But this is the grand prize, $500 spending money at BAMCON for the BAM Squatter of the Year. But before we get to that prize, you like that suspense there? Yeah, yeah. Building suspense. Um, building suspense. All the BAM Squatter. Okay. BAM squatters who are coming to BAM con are like, oh. is it me? Is it me? Um, uh, we have to give away the BAM a BAM squad Christmas stocking. So it's not this stocking. It's not Alto's stocking. He gets to keep his stocking. Yeah, puppy dog can have that. But um, we asked everyone uh, if they would put one of their best resources mm -hmm. that helped their school run smoother, be more profitable, reduce their workload, reduce their stress levels, make the experience better for students. What was one awesome gift that you could put into the Christmas stocking? And everyone that put a gift in gets all the gifts. And uh, last year we had like 70 something gifts when that we were blown away. Um, this year we've had 101, I believe. Yeah, and Johnny said at the, like, at the beginning of the promo, we, we're going to get 100. And I'll be honest, I said from Johnny, we're not going to get 100. There's just no way. And you guys proved me wrong. We had 101. Got to think bigger. Mm, yeah. yeah. Dream big, people. Yeah. So um, it is amazing. You've probably seen some screenshots and things that I've put in the group of the, of the presents. And so we will be going through the rest of our day today and unlocking that for everyone that has submitted presents into the library. So um, 100, 101 lucky individuals will be finding that yeah, available. Yeah, so sometime today. over the next few hours mm. when you go check in your library, um, if you've submitted a present, it will be there. And give man, us, do give us a couple of hours though. We've got a little bit of tweaking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's epic. And Johnny and I are going to need a little lie down after all this Christmas craziness. It's been busy, but a um, couple more days. And so that's a good reminder is this is the one time in the year that the BAM team takes a little break so we will be taking two weeks off mm. and we'll only be answering any uh, urgent emails and we all know there's no such thing as an urgent email uh, pick up the phone that's a team thing we say here um, but the uh, we'll be off for two weeks and then we're going to have an extra week where we're going to be mapping out mm. 2023 for you guys and making it epic so we'll sort of be back online hanging out talking with you guys from probably about the 12th of uh, January our time uh, any other admin stuff before we do the BAM squatter of the year? Um, any other admin stuff? No, no. One little shout out. You will have noticed across all the videos today, so many cool shout outs for Mastermind. Mm -hmm. I do need to let you know, we are looking really full across all the groups because Mastermind is epic. So but I am looking to launch um, three new groups right as we start into the new year and, and when we say right into the new year for us that'll be sort of mid to late January um so there are new groups coming um to give you some spaces to fill up so keep an eye out for that because you do not want to be missing out on that next year 
um shout out to everyone in the bam squad uh right now that's basically planning bam squad 2024 for us so we've got wes and uh and michael hemsworth and uh and juliet yeah all organizing uh bam squad it looks like we're all BAMCON going to florida Bay. bamcon or oh, did i say disneyland oh disney world disney Michael. world i don't know which one's on which coast you guys can tell us but who knows maybe um we, we just gotta we gotta get through uh bam squad 23 first yeah yeah and then ballers in paradise bam squad ballers well kate kate's still freaking out <laughs> and it's not the concept it's it's simply the name so, uh uh siri is just um siri's just playing it. we said something that's triggered it so Sorry, Ignore that. Sorry, sorry what, to, were you, what were you saying? And then we got um, to give I was this just saying that Kate is still not on board with your new name for for that concept. She's oh. on board with the concept, but questionable name. Johnny. She'll learn She'll to love it. it. It's very cool. Uh, we need to give away the squad of the year. We're gonna we're gonna cut to the slide here for this um, because um, oh we didn't highlight oh. some of the. Um, that's right. We wanted to highlight some of the cool gifts in the in the um, Christmas stocking. So quick shout outs. Um, Chris McCloggan, he has given an insane present. It was the first one to come in. It's amazing how he uh, got like 50 students signed up. I'll screen share this actually. Um, 50 students signed up for $0 ad spend. When I saw this come in, I immediately sent it to Andy and the team mm -hmm. at Good Time. was like, guys, you could probably get 200 students. Do this. So check out that present. It's going to blow you away. Mike Grande, man, he's made this insane. And um, incredible. Yeah, this group guitar program, and it's got all these videos and QR codes. And the guy is just a legend. Um, another big, inspiring powerhouse in the BAM squad. Um, Tim from Top Music has done this um, incredible resource about teaching uh, students. Really with, special. Yeah, special needs and all the different ones and how to handle that well. Um, that's going to be an amazing resource to help you and your team. Um, I know I'm not an expert on that, so I would definitely be reading that if I was, uh, if I had students with different needs coming in. Uh, final one, John Sanford has um, created this really cool, while well, we're on the topic of Christmas stocking, uh, this cool starter pack that he's got as like an upsell for his students. Mm -hmm. So check that out. It's really quirky and creative. So shout out to John. He's also coming to BAMCON, isn't he? Yes. Man. Um, <laughs> the BAMCON FOMO must be kicking in. I'm sorry if you're... If I you're late. have a wait list for 2024. Well, we've already got people on the wait list for this. Yeah, for this we only have a wait um, list for 2023. So, well, um, let's do BAM Squatter of the Year. Oh, and just and just a quick <laughs> shout out for just an educational purpose. The tension is, land tension's is killing California. Me. Disney World is in Florida. Okay. That'll be, you know, very important information for the BAM Squatter of the it Year sound, as well. It sounds risky, like we're all show up at two different venues and you're like where where is everyone oh, yeah all i see is mini and yeah uh okay we got to give this away and we got to wrap up so bam score of the year um i will preface this by saying we we sat as a team um last week and we're like we need to choose bam squatter of the year and uh three out of five six of us were like immediately all said the same name and and so we're a bit of discussion we're like i think it has to go to this person they just had such an amazing year now this person has um they have had they've had a lot of extra one-on-one -on -one time with me so i'll take a, you know one percent of credit towards their journey this year but they they joined the bam school with i think around 180 to 200 mm -hmm. students this year they almost got to 500 and they may have passed it by now um they they were told um, hey, you need to get out and do the show team thing. I thought maybe they'd book one, two, three shows. They booked 18 on their first time. They got 250 students signed up. Um, they've also had, um, you know, just gone from not paying themselves, having a bunch of personal stress that comes with running the school, managing the team, totally transformed their team. Um, I uh, was a case study in the project where we learned how to transition from uh, our team members being contractors to employees. So shaking things up, just an all round absolute legend. Uh, anything you want to add about this person um, without naming them? Incredible, um, heartfelt leader in their mastermind and just an all round beautiful person. Yeah. And the BAM squatter of the year for 2022 goes to... Kelly Kennedy, there she is, and um, she is and awesome. Kelly is coming to, um, there we go, 
$500 spending money. Kelly is coming to BAMCON 2023 um, that we are hosting here in New Zealand, not BAMCON 2024, which may or may not be at Disney World, Disneyland. Hosted by Mike Florida. Williamsworth and Juliet. Yes. Um, Where's Boyce even yeah, if West, crash yeah. at his house? So, you know. Mate, he must have a big house. So congratulations to Kelly. Yeah. You're amazing. Yeah. Um, so good. Cool. Well, that is the that is the Christmas party. It's um it's been an absolute it's been a rock. Pleasure. It's been wild. So make sure you go back, watch the replay if you missed any of it. Um, make sure you jump in the comments and tag all the people you want to say thanks to and uh, anything else um you want to add, Mel, before um, we go. Congrats to all of our um winners today, but just a you know, a real genuine shout out to everyone else because mm. you all are what makes the BAM squad so, so, so incredible. So thank you all for an amazing 2022 and look at 2023. Yeah. Epic. Yeah. And my final thought is just, I, I think back to my music teacher that inspired me mm -hmm. um, and totally transformed my life and made it a much better, more fruitful, enjoyable, um, inspirational life. And um, so that's what you guys are doing. I don't know how many students there are combined across the BAM squad um, who we're teaching. We should figure that out mm -hmm. next year, maybe. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's probably tens and tens and tens of thousands of students. And those are all individual lives that are going to be changed in different ways. And you will never know the true impact of um, what yeah what you're doing for these kids and teens and adults so keep doing what you're doing take the christmas break to have some rest recuperate yes, yes. Uh, and and enjoy the 101 presents that are in your christmas stocking and we can't wait to see you back in january for an incredible 2023 we love you merry all. christmas happy